Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to 7 engineers YouTube channel with the new lecture. Guys, today in this important video lecture, I am going to talk about lap and length or lap versus coupler. So many civil engineering students, they know if they are working on construction site or if they are civil engineering student, so they know what is lap or overlapping or lapping length of steel rebars. But the new one is coupler. Its mechanical technology also work for lapping length, but it's a new technology and mechanical, mechanical new technology. So now I will tell you for lapping length versus coupler. So which one is the best and which one we should use on site, especially for lapping of steel rebars. This is the topic for today. If this video is helpful for you, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new. Guys, first of all, I will tell you lapping length. I've all already discussed in many videos, but you can see this picture. This is lapping length. But now watch a short video for coupler. What is coupler? So watch this video. Then we will start for lapping length or for lap versus coupler. So watch the video. Now guys, I will tell you, the first one is, that is lap and the second one is coupler. So, lap, first of all, lap length increase the amount of steel bars. If you construct the building, so in lapping length, it increase the amount of steel bar. That's why, because we were lap one steel bar with other to get complete length. Because for insufficient steel bar, we overlap one steel bar to another to get design length for structure, if that is beam, column, or slab. So remember one point, lap length increase the amount of steel. Second, lap or uh, laps double the steel because one steel overlap with other, so it become double. Or concrete ratio and create the problems during placing of rebars so therefore we should use the new technology okay but i am telling you for coupler so guys it increase the cost of construction so it increase the cost of construction that's why because overlapping there we need more amount of steel bars because there are more lapping length are more joints okay so it increased the cost of construction. The other one, lap can be open during placing of concrete. Because overlapping we bind with the help of binding wire. So therefore, during or if a laborers are working on farm work, so during vibration of farm work or during placing of concrete bar or during placing of steel bars, it can be open. Lapping can be open on that time so it can create a problem on site. So these are some problems in lap length. So now come to coupler, the new mechanical technology. Okay, and you watched that video. So coupler is a mechanical connections between two pieces of free bars and continue the length of bar to get full or design length of structure. So now why we use coupler? Because it reduces the congestion of rebar with lap joints. It reduces or it reduced the amount of steel bars, but lap length increase the cost of construction and it's also uh, lap length increase the amount of steel bar, but it doesn't increase the amount of steel bar because coupler is for different diameters and its length is less. We don't need more steel for lapping because this is mechanical technology that is coupler. Okay, and it's very helpful for lap length. Okay, so it has more advantages. So therefore, we should use coupler. Now, the other one is rebar coupler are not dependent on the concrete. So you can use different grade of concrete because it doesn't depend on the concrete. But here, lap length is depend on the 
different grade of concrete if the grade of concrete is low so there we will increase the leaping length if grade of concrete is high so we will decrease the leaping length because leaping length is depend on the grade of concrete or on the concrete but coupler are not dependent on the concrete it's promoting full strength and tension coupler promoting full strength and tension when you are connecting two joints for steel rebars but it can't give us full strength because i have already discussed it can be opened during vibrating of farm work or placing of steel or placing of concrete the other one is it does not damage the farm work but lapping length can damage the farm work now coupler coupler can save or uh, more cost saving as less steel will be used but it can't save it can't save the cost of project but more cost saving is less steel will be used but here we used more steel bar because one steel bar overlap with other so therefore it increased the amount of steel bar but more cost saving is less uh, is less steel will be used and the last one is it built a lighter building but it built heavy structure because there we use more amount of steel bar because these are extra bars so therefore the structure become heavy so guys these are some useful information related for lap versus coupler so if you have any question related with this topic guys so you can comments i will try to reply your answer but i will tell you use the coupler for connection of two rebars nrcc slab or beam and column because you can get full strength of the structure it can save the cost of project and it can reduce steel amount and it can promote the strength and tension and rebar is not dependent on the concrete any type of concrete and any grade of concrete you can use and coupler work okay but here you can't so which one is the best i am asking from you maybe this one so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye